Hey guys, this is Richard from AndroidCentral.com. Today we're taking a very quick look at a new application that's just released called Songkick. So what this is, is a fully featured concert tracking application allowing you to find and discover and keep track of concerts across various locations and artists. Um, the first thing to notice is it's really well designed. It's following the Android 4.0 design guidelines very well and in particular there is no unsightly menu buttons here on the HTC One X. The menu is where it should be in Android 4.0, the little three dots button at the top. So we'll dive straight into that menu button. Um, the first option is to sign up or log in. To make full use of this application, you do need to sign up for a free account, but for the features it offers, it's really no great heartache. Um, what else have we got in there? We can track more artists, we've got the settings and a feedback button. So the settings, notifications, vibrations for any new concerts which fit within your guidelines um, otherwise it's pretty bare in there so the front page is uh, is very nice to look at one thing that is worth noting is that Songkick will scan your Pandora, Last.fm and Google Play Music uh, applications and libraries and it will automatically populate its listings based upon the artists it finds within. Now it will do this immediately upon first opening of the application but obviously we all update our music collections very often so under track more artists here you can see we can rescan the library and it'll rescan your library okay you've got to wait for it to scan your library um, or you can manually search for an artist and if you have Last.fm and Pandora, you can log in and search those, but it will use your, um, it will scan your Google account automatically for you. So calendar, this is where you keep track of all your own applicate, uh, all your own concerts within the application. Um, as you can see, there's only one in there at the moment for me, but I can click on that and it will bring me up this really simple but really nice looking listing for the concert, which hopefully I'm now going to go to. Um, Funnily enough, this application has just made me aware of a concert that the Lost Prophets are playing in my hometown, which I wouldn't have known about otherwise, so good end to the day. Um, but as you can see, from within here, you can mark it as going, which you need the account for. I might go, gives you the address and location. And you also have a link here to go and buy tickets from a number of online vendors. Um, this will obviously vary from region to region, but for me in the UK, I can use Ticketmaster and Ticketline, two of the more popular ones. And it will also, down the bottom here, it'll show you what's, who's on the lineup. So the Lost Profits are playing, so we would expect them to be on the lineup. Um, under this tab, I have no plans at the moment, but you can keep track of all your own plans. And it will also show you any recently added concerts. So. Under this top little thing, you've got your three. You've got three sections: calendar, locations, and artists. So, clicking on your artists, this is where it will show all the artists that the application has populated from your libraries. Uh, we'll find one that isn't completely embarrassing: Kings of Leon. No upcoming events. Shame. Also, you can browse by location. Now I have found that the location is particularly broad. Um, it's labelled me under a town which is about 40 miles away but that isn't necessarily a bad thing because it shows me the venues within that radius um, and my local venues in this case uh, Doncaster, Lincolnshire, those sort of places they all come up and there is a really, really detailed list. I mean, a lot of these bands I've never heard of. I've never heard of half of the venues on here, but there is such a wide variety to choose from. And as I've mentioned, I've already found something I want to go to. And just by looking through this, there's probably a good chance I'm going to find something else as well. So there we go, guys. Just a quick look at Songkick for Android. Thanks for watching.